Today's video, we're going to be showing you how to utilize 4-3, even 6-1 to slow down the most popular offenses in Madden for really the last ever, um, and that is the Gun Bunch formation. So how do you use 6-1 to stop a formation like Gun Bunch? We're going to show you in this video, but before we get too far into the video, I did want to let you know that I just completely updated and revamped my 4-3, even 6-1 defensive ebook. If you guys want to get access to that, all you got to do is join the Patreon. It's only $10, and this is probably, in my opinion, one of the best ebooks that I've ever release in terms of actually breaking down how to adjust at a really, really high level. I think really the secret to defense in really any Madden is understanding how to adjust, how to blitz, how to stop the run, but really how to adjust behind your pressures to the most popular formations in the game. We spent over two hours teaching everything that we know about how to stop different formations in this game. So if you want to get access to that, all you have to do is join the Patreon. It is only $10, and it actually gets you access to our dollar defense, which you can uh, use that with the Kansas City Chiefs playbook. It's what I'm in right now. It gets you access to everything, all of our offensive and defensive eBooks. We've got over 15 different offensive and defensive eBooks and we have updated a ton of them throughout the year. So make sure that you're in the Patreon. I think it's the best place to become a better Madden player. And if you want to sign up for that, the link's going to be in the description. With that in mind, uh, I did want to show you this little blitz out of 4-3, even 6-1. Really like it. It's Sam Blitz 3. And if you're in regs, uh, I'm going to make this really simple for you. You need to be using either the Niners or the Bucks, in my opinion, if you want to run this defense in regs. Really, this is a great defense to run, and, and it, you can pair this, especially with the Niners, with a little under center run game uh, that they have. But coaching adjustments here, we're going to have auto flip off. Auto alignment's going to be on base. Auto uh, option defense conservative. And then the biggest thing here is our zone coverage. We're going to put that on match. All right? So I just want to make sure I got Fred Warner with Lurker uh, at the user position. You have to have that if you're using a formation with linebackers. It is really, really important. Okay? Sam Blitz 3. Set up here, all we're going to do is we are going to uh, basically show blitz, and then we're going to back off this outside corner on the bunch side. And then from there, all we're going to do is we're going to crash our defensive line to the right. Actually, we don't have to back them off now that I think about it. Just show blitz and shade underneath. There it is. Now, uh, when you shade underneath, it's going to put that hard flat to the right-hand side. Uh, you do want to crash your defensive line to the tight end side, and you do want to use her kind of like right in this little pocket here. Now, one of the things that's really important when you're running this specific setup is you want to re-seam flat this uh, linebacker here on the left-hand side. That is super important. I'm going to explain why in just a minute, but I want to show the pressure. As you can see, you get really nice pressure out of 6-1 with this little setup. And then you also are able to craft a lot of really nice coverage adjustments as well. So uh, just this, you don't have to shade down. Um, if you don't want to shade down, then just play cover two on the right, okay? Just do this right here, and the defense is set up. Now, what this defense is really, really good against is plays such as, uh, like, even Y curl, for example. Y, what, look at that seam flat. You see how it kind of matches, and it kind of plays that really, really well, and then it passes it to the third. What you basically have with a stock cover three blitz out in behind it is you have this kind of like, um, I'm trying to think how to explain it, but you have like this kind of like match concept to the left that is super effective. So even if I try to throw the running back here, you'll see that linebacker will kind of bail back down to the running back late and be able to defend that. If you want it to stop the running back wheel route uh, a little bit better than what you're seeing here, all you have to do is just simply uh, put this defender on a hard flap. And you'll see here, he'll kind of get back there. And then you see that that match third is actually going to be a pretty good one if, if, if they are late on that throw. Now, what this really does a great job against, in my opinion, is that this setup right here is going to do a really good job against any kind of double corner concept that a lot of people like to run this year. So if they're using a C route and they maybe use like a little wheel to pull and then, you know, over here, you know, a lot of people like to do, you know, kind of like a double corner concept, if you will. Uh, basically what you're going to have here is you're just going to use her to the right because you'll see that this, this uh, match concept to the left side will absolutely bag the seam wheel and the C route. So that's really, I think, the best feature of this. Now, if you wanted to create a coverage defense out of this, one of my favorite things to do in 6-1 is actually take this linebacker and man him up on the slot receiver. I know it seems like a mismatch, but what you're going to see in 6-1 that makes it kind of unique is let's say they're running like verticals, right? Maybe they're running something like this combo. 
this um this uh linebacker when he's manned up he actually presses him pretty good and you still get really good disengage pressure out of six one so that's one of my favorite ways to defend bunch uh in this game and it, it, the cool part is you have a five-man pressure variation and then if you wanted to you could go to something that's very simple uh like this and I even like to, if you are playing an ultimate team and you have the ability to put a lurk artist at defensive end, you could man that defensive up on the tight end. And you'll actually get underneath any kind of like seam wheels or stuff like that. That's pretty popular that people like to do out of gun bunch. So a lot of value in, in that adjustment. But I love the seam flat adjustment here on the left-hand side. It's so good for defending, um, really just defending this uh, seam wheel with a – uh, running back like a C route, you see you get this nice match, really unique, and it actually takes away both of the routes. So super good adjustment. This is also, real quick, um, this is also really good if they motion out. So what a lot of people like to do, whether it be bunch strong, offset, whatever it is, whatever bunch you are you happen to be facing, is they'll go with something like this right here on the left-hand side where they motion him out, put him on a streak, right? So if you have this coverage adjustment set up right here, the seam flat will actually bag the seam streak and it won't really, the C route typically won't get open. Another really easy way to counter that um, is with this adjustment right here where we're just going to man up the running back. And what you'll see here is when we man up the running back, then it will actually make it super difficult for uh, the C route to get open. Again, you're going to get really good pressure out of this as well. Um, and then as you see there, you know, C route is fairly well handled uh, to the sideline. Again, super, super, super effective little adjustment for defending bunch. Another simple way that you can stop this, uh, and really one of my favorite is this really takes it away, is just kind of um, a little bit of cross manning. And you can still play cover two on the right-hand side, still have really good pressure. And then the biggest thing you just have to watch out for is any kind of seam streak. This is a really good adjustment. If they're running wide curl, a lot of people like to run that. You could take that away with a simple cross, man. Fortunately, he didn't catch the ball, <laughs> um, but that is what it is. So really like this uh, this little defense out of gun bunch. Another last little uh, coverage adjustment just for fun here is you could do you know something like a little cloud flat on the outside um, if you wanted it to play a little bit more underneath of the C route. And then, as you can see, you're still going to get that really nice pressure. That pressure also, uh, one of the things I did want to point out, is let's say they block their running back out of this. A lot of times this pressure will actually come in uh, against a blocked running back. So we'll show you here real quick. This pressure, blocked running back, actually picked it up pretty good there. But uh, in ultimate team, you have a little bit better uh, pass rushing linebackers because they'll be a little faster. And uh, you can actually get that pressure pretty good against a blocked uh, a blocked running back so really like the 6-1 defense if you want to get my entire defensive ebook on this completely updated revamped everything it's in the patreon you can sign up for the patreon by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below